Hey yo! Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to repaint a snowboard. I got a snowboard on Craigslist for about 30 bucks. Looks like this. And um, I'm gonna be showing you guys each step in the process of how to sand down and repaint a snowboard to get a fun, cool new design. So there is my snowboard. It's a Lamar Reaper board. I got this on Craigslist for 30 bucks. And I have some sandpaper here. This is a wood sandpaper. I wanted to get through the laminate a little bit more because I still have all the laminate on top. And I wanted to get through it a little bit easier and then I got a sanding block to place on top of it and you kind of just hold it together like this while you sand. And it comes off quite easy. You can see that took me about a minute and a half. So it's coming off pretty easy. And then from there, we're going to rub it down with some rubbing alcohol um, or degreaser of sorts. And then you get to start painting. So in this next part of the video, we are just going to tape off the board in whatever design you want. I bought a uh, spray paint with primer. You can see that. So that's what I'm going to be using. You're essentially just going to do probably six to seven coats, but you want to just dust them so make sure they're extremely light. Next, I taped off my center areas outside of my pinstriping, and I went in with this fun stuff. It actually dries extremely matte, so you're going to need a couple of clear coats on there, but it looks really cool and it actually feels really cool so uh i did this in here i'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat and then tear off my tape for the pinstriping and we will see what it looks like all right so now that we have uh all of our boards sanded and we have started in with the paint i'm going in for a second coat so i'm just taping off right where I want my designs to be. I'm doing pinstriping. Stop crying. Thank you. Um, doing pinstriping, so I'm doing a little bit at a time. Take your time with the pinstriping. Uh, you gotta go in different timing, depending on what colors you want and how many stripes there are, so you don't wanna tape over them too quickly, so just take your time and it'll dry nice and clean. Before the second coat, I went over with a thin, uh, sandpaper again just to get out any discrepancies in the paint and once you are done with that you can go ahead and start painting again all right once you are done painting your snowboard you are going to go ahead and throw some clear coats on there i'm going to put some stickers on there that i got from design by humans um there are a bunch of really cool ones you can get them on there for three bucks a piece and i just thought they were really fun and tied in really well on the board so before I do my clear coat, I'm going to stick these on and then do the clear coat over them. Once you finish applying your clear coat, this is what it'll look like. You'll get a nice smooth finish across every single sticker. Uh, again, my stickers, I got all of these from Design by Humans. Um, they're all super fun, very unique, very me, and I think they look pretty good on the board. And again, as my clear coat. I just used these guys right here. This is a polyurethane finish. And I made sure to get the high gloss. Um, that's essentially just gonna protect the paint from chipping while it's in use of the snow. Um, you can also use this on surfboards. Um, it's a really, really good clear coat to use for anything that's gonna be exposed to water that you have repainted. So, there it is. And, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see next.